I just got my hands on a Logitech Brio, which is an absolute beast of a webcam. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and I am flipping impressed with it. And in this video, I want to do a quick comparison of how it stacks up against my Canon M50 mirrorless camera and just to see if it's actually really worth it to get a mirrorless camera to stream with. Because let's not lie, a mirrorless camera, it ain't cheap. It's gonna cost you a lot of money, which could be used in other parts of your stream or upgrading your stream room, your lighting, your audio, most importantly. So let's see how they compare against each other. Starting off, this is how I look on the Brio web camera at 1080p 60fps. Now this is actually what I stream at. I don't even attempt to stream at 4K because first you're gonna be limited to 30fps. And I mean, who watches streams at 4K? It's gonna get compressed anyways by your bitrate or whatever you're able to up load up but you know for other sakes this is what's going to look like at 1440p resolution and then this again is what's going to look like at 4k resolution do you notice much of a difference when the three are up hmm i don't know i don't maybe that's just me because i'm not wearing my glasses <laughs> i'm pretty blind without my glasses <laughs> Anyway, switching back to 1080p 60fps, which is what I stream at and what I recommend that you actually stream at. This is how it's going to compare to the default state of my Canon M50, which is also at 1080p 60fps. What do you think? Let me actually put them up side by side right now for you to see them happening at the same time. Let me know down below which one do you prefer, considering the price point difference between the two, also how much knowledge you need to have over a camera in setting it up, making sure that you're in focus, making sure that your, your video settings are correct as well. And I mean, considering the price difference between the two, where the Brio is literally on special right now for $160 on Amazon, whereas the Canon M50 is going for $700, and $79. There's a lot you can do with that money because you can upgrade your audio, you can upgrade your whole lighting system, you can get yourself looking like you got a banger bomb of the studio. There's so much you can do. That is why I would actually straight up even recommend that people start out with the Brio rather than buying a mirrorless camera. But now let's go back to the pros and the cons of the Brio. One of the pros for me is that it is so easy to use. You literally plug it in. But some of the cons is that you actually are going to have to configure the video according to your lighting. But the same is true for a mirrorless camera. You need to make sure that you get your white balance right so that you don't look orange like Donald Trump or you don't look white like a dead vampire you're not undead yet you meant to be lovely and streaming and having fun the other pro that i love about the brio is the fov is absolutely amazing you can see the whole room my mirrorless camera it's actually quite zoomed in because i, I do use it with the kit lens which is which is 15 to 45 mils so it's going to be quite zoomed in the, the brio on the other hand it's great it's perfect because in my stream a lot of people use their channel points to make me do workouts like squats push-ups curls and that means that you can see me when i go to the back of the room and if they use my ultimate redemption which is to make me jump in a swimming pool they can actually watch me do it quite nicely and i don't need to change settings let me know down below are you gonna be picking up any of these two and hopefully i will see you guys in my stream which is mondays wednesdays fridays 8 a.m south africa standard time it's early but it's a good time when you're there